What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tutorials. It is your boy, Cheeseburger Eddie, and as always, I hope you guys are having an absolute fantastic day. Great start to your weekend. We have another XP farm coming at you, a brand new design, uh, a really simple build, and fairly cheap depending upon where you're at in your survival worlds. Uh, but first, I want to say thank you guys so much for the over overwhelming support. Just everyone that's subscribed recently, everyone that's been subscribed, liking the videos, being a part of the community, love every single one of y'all, appreciate you so much. So anyways, let's get into it. What you need for this build is exactly what's on your screen, the top row of the chest. Uh, you need sand, glass, blocks of any type. You need a, a furnace and or a smoker, buck, a bucket of water, some hoppers, couple of pistons, observers, and redstone. That is it. The chest and the slabs are optional. I recommend getting those, they're pretty simple to make. And then obviously your fuel source can be whatever you wanna make it of. Uh, but here we go, this is how you're gonna build it. Uh, go ahead and get your, chat, uh, your um, I'm sorry, your furnace and or smoker. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how both do work. Get a hopper on um, each one of those and make sure it's pointing straight down and then get a hopper behind it pointing into the hopper in front. It should be looking just like this. Now you don't necessarily need this second hopper, but this is how we're gonna make it. It just makes sure that you're not gonna miss any kelp. Get two sets of blocks behind it, going back, and then you're gonna get some sand on top of the second row like this, and then go ahead and build up your second row of blocks back here. And then you're gonna wanna go right here, another block high, because what you're gonna put on top of these blocks is a couple of pistons facing forward like so. Go ahead and build another uh, set of wall or another, another set of blocks right here on the back side. And what you're going to put back here is a couple of obser observers face it with the face pointing forward. So you're going to have to aim this way, put your observer down, and it should be looking just like this. Now go ahead on the back side, put some redstone on each side of the blocks behind the observers. That makes that those work and make sure that the pistons get extended whenever a certain uh, certain thing gets in front of it, such as the kelp is what we're going to make it happen on this particular one. And then what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and build this out. And you, again, you can make any blocks you want, but you just want walls on each side of it just to make it look nice. You know, we're not, we're not savages here on the channel unless we want to be, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, so make it look like this. And then down here, what you want to go ahead and start doing is make your unlimited fuel source. So what I recommend is getting a couple of hoppers. And if you mess around with us, you only need one hopper. Uh, but I put two hoppers facing into each other right here, facing into the uh, furnace and or smoker, and then put a chest on top. And then this is where you want to put your slab just to make it a little bit look, look a little bit better, uh, in my opinion. And then do the same thing on this side, two smokers facing into each other, and then a chest on top. And then you just want to put your fuel source inside of that chest and as much fuel source as you can. This can be blocks, like wooden blocks. It can be uh, dried, you know, kelp which makes it really easy. And that's why this farm is self-sustaining as well, because all the kelp you get from the farm, you can end up recycling it and putting it into uh, dried kelp blocks and end up fueling it on its own. But coal ends up being the fastest, uh, you know, cooker item of the entire uh, of the entire world. So you wanna make sure you have those if you can. Uh, but anyways, that's what that's used for. And then we wanna go ahead and close the front off here with some glass. And again, it doesn't need to be glass necessarily, but it just makes it look better in my opinion. And you can see what's going on. So if you ever have any problems, you can kind of see what's happening. Now get your bucket of water before you close that top part and go ahead and waterlog each block in here, both the observers, both the pistons, and both of the bottom blocks on there. So it should be six blocks or six buckets of water, I'm sorry, flowing down. And then what you want to do is make sure you plant your kelp because without the kelp, it ain't going to work. So go ahead and plant the kelp. And with this function, with this particular farm, you shouldn't have any problems. Shouldn't break, it shouldn't stop working. It should always work. And if it, if it has problems, I will make sure to update you guys. But again, from what I've seen, no issues. And again, just finish off building, make it look nice. You know what I'm saying? What are we? We are designers, you know what I'm saying? Interior designers of Minecraft. That's what we are. So anyways, that is the farm pretty much. Now what you gotta do is just let it let it do its thing. And what it's gonna do is every time that kelp grows high enough, the observer is gonna activate the piston, which is gonna shoot forward the kelp, and it's gonna end up loading up the uh the smoker now if you want this thing to get fully filled up it's gonna take some time so you gotta give it time don't don't ask me if, you know 10 minutes after i post the video why isn't it working because it shouldn't take you 10 minutes this should take at least maybe 30 45 minutes an hour you know because you have to wait for that entire uh entire hopper to fill up with kelp and then it's got to load up the 
uh, furnace and or smoker below. So it's gonna take some time, but what ends up happening here is it's all self-sustaining because everything's gonna end up functioning on its own. The fuel source you can use is dried kelp block. So all you need is dried kelp to make a dried kelp block. So you can end up using that as fuel. Uh, and then obviously just recycle, just keep going. So anyways, once this thing fills up, which again takes a amount of, good amount of time, what you're gonna wanna do is actually build below these hoppers. Because if you just collect, I'm showing you this because I wanted to make sure you guys understood. If you just collect what's inside these hoppers, or not the hoppers, but inside these uh, smokers and or furnaces, you're only gonna get like a little bit of XP per grab, which is not worth it in my opinion. But if what you do, if you put a hopper below these things, you're gonna see that XP just go exponentially higher and it's gonna be so much more worth it. So put a couple of hoppers below. It doesn't necessarily need to go inside of a chest uh, like this, but if you have those two hoppers below it, the XP will start storing inside of those hoppers. And then once you start grabbing the kelp from the smoker and or the hopper, or I mean, not the hopper, but the smoker or the furnace, that is when you will get your max amount of XP. And again, you need to let this thing fill just gradually. It takes an hour, it takes some time. You have to let it fill naturally. You can't just put items in it. So you gotta make sure you let those hoppers fill up. The chest below, you can just fill up with random items, but it is what it is. So anyways, once you fill that up and once the hoppers get filled up and then the smoker or the furnace gets filled up, start collecting. And as you can see, pretty much each level I'm getting right now is a, is a level per click. Uh, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? For something that's self-sustaining and, and automatic, it's really beneficial to have in your Minecraft world. And again, so many uses that you can have for dried kelp blocks for fuel, uh, obviously just regular dried kelp for dye and whatever else. Uh, but one last tip, if you let the bottom chest fill all the way up with dried kelp, and I'm talking about that's going to take you at least three to four hours. You're gonna get so much XP off of each click. It's probably gonna be three or four or five levels up until you get to like 50 or 60, and then it'll start slowing down, but should still be beneficial and still work for you uh, in your Minecraft world. So that is it as far as this particular build goes. I just wanted to make sure I touched base with you guys. I gave you guys that that uh, that post, that uh, poll survey, and overwhelmingly you guys said you wanted to see more XP farms. So we're gonna definitely touch base on as much as we can, but that is it for this one. I wanted to show you guys that this does work. It is never ending, but again, going back to the viral video that I had, Potato farms are just OP, man. This one, if you can get unlimited potatoes, which I do have a video on, check out the channel, make sure to subscribe. You guys will see this thing going forward. And it just, I mean, look at the levels you get and how fast it is. Even if we're in the 30s or the 40s, it still lets you keep gradually gaining so fast. You can get your mending uh, on all your items. You can get all the stuff that you wanna get. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please, please, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel because again, the support has been outstanding. It's been amazing. I love every single one of you guys. And I hope continuing going forward that you guys are gonna enjoy, enjoy the content. Comment down below what you wanna see going forward and I will make sure to try my best in providing some great valued content. Anyways, guys, hope you have a great, fantastic day and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.